Hi everyone, so in today's video we are going to be doing a behind the Instagram video. I haven't done one of these in so long and I have these kind of more elaborate videos that I want to film for you guys. Um, that's kind of at the top of my filming list. But in my last Instagram hair post, um, I had a lot of you guys request a more in-depth and behind the Instagram video like I used to do. So the pictures I am talking about that I posted on Instagram are of this transformation here. So she came in with not only gray roots and a lot of unwanted warm reddish tones at her roots, um, she also had banding, which is one of the worst things um, that us as hairdressers, when we are trying to lighten someone's hair, that we can be dealt with. So the banding was the thing that um, I was the most worried about, so my plan of attack was to try and lighten that first. So I went in and wove uh, pretty thick highlights. So I avoided the roots completely and I avoided where she was already blonde. So really just in that about like two inches of that banding, I applied lightener and I was using Redken's a flash lift with the bonder inside and I started off with 20 volume. And I actually started in the back and I wanted to kind of see how that was lifting and if that was good, then I could do that all over the head, but I could kind of gauge better from there whether I needed to go up to like maybe 30 or 40 um, or possibly even lower. So 20 ended up being perfect. So then I quickly moved up to the front because I love lightening the front first because that's where you want the most lightness anyway. So I started working in the front um, and once that band was lifted to a pretty bright level, um, basically the inside of a banana peel is what we aim for. So once it was lifted um, nicely, um, I mixed uh, the flash lift with the bonder inside again, but this time with only 10 volume. And then I worked that up towards the roots and then brought it down a little bit um, where her existing blonde had some um, kind of more yellow tones, so I went in and brightened that up. So then as that's processing, I went in with a 6NN cover fusion, and then I went with a, a dab of 7NA. Um, I just wanted to have a little bit of that ash tone in there, um, but I knew that I needed the NN uh, for the gray coverage. So I went in and painted where um, she had her gray roots, and any bit of that super kind of orangey banding that she had that did not get highlighted. I would say that I highlighted a good maybe 75% of her hair, so that means that only 25% was left um, for the base color. Because I had a few people asking me, like, the hair looks really light, there's no way that that's just 6NN. Um, and yes, I did mix a little bit of 7NA in there, um, but definitely some people were saying like that looks like a level 8 um, and I think an 8 would be brassy over time and I feel like it would just be way too blonde and I did want a little bit of contrast in there. So so then I let everything else uh, process and finish off. So then we were ready to rinse her out and tone her. So I did just a really quick root tap um, with 9N, just straight 9N, and I literally just did maybe like an eighth of an inch at the root. And sometimes if I really just want it to sit for like two to three minutes, I will rinse that off and then tone all over. But because it was a level nine, which is already pretty bright, it's really just shadowing it so softly that the eye can barely detect it. But once the hair is blown out, it's just so beautiful and soft. So as that micro root was processing, I went in with uh, 09P uh, Shades EQ. Then I did an ounce of the Crystal Clear, which dilutes the level nine to a level 10, which allows the Shades EQ to tone the hair, but not to really darken it, so the hair still looks really bright and pearly. So once those two toners processed, um, I rinsed her out, um, shampooed her and conditioner, of course, and gave her a simple blowout using the Kira Lux blow dryer. I love using a blow dryer that is gonna be really gentle on the hair, especially right after I have colored it. Clients always say like, how do you always get the best blowout at a, at a salon? And they, everyone thinks it's really just hidden in the technique and to be honest, it's everything. I mean, if the color looks right, if the color was done, 
correctly, meaning that it didn't strip the hair. Um, and then you are shampooing and conditioning with the right product for your hair. Um, then the blowout is done with good tools that are good for your hair. Um, that's what makes a blowout good. It really is a combination of all of those things. Then I finished her off by adding just some soft waves with the T3 curling iron, which um, I have at the salon as well. And yeah, that is it. That is everything that we did to her hair. And um, I will leave in the description box um, like actual formulas. I always think that that's unnecessary because the measurements I used for my client will most likely be different for your client because your client may have more or less hair. And I do like knowing what someone uses to tone. I think that's exciting. Or how they went about a route. I think that is definitely fun to know what other hairdressers have used. Um, but sometimes people are like, well, you didn't leave like how many ounces exactly. So I know that someone will ask. So I will leave that in the description box. And to finish off the look, I just spritzed a little bit of the Triple Dry. It's from Redken's new Dry Texture line. I love this new line of styling products. My clients absolutely love the way it smells. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, I've been announcing their giveaway that they've been doing. They will be picking 10 of you guys. I will leave that link in the description box also down below. And you will get the entire set of the Dry Texture line shown here. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for requesting this video. Um, these are one of my favorite videos to make and I know you guys enjoy them too. So thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Haven't been able to get that song out of my head for the last three days.